Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Just getting some things set up and ready to go. What is this? Oh, what is this song? Hold on. That's not what I told it to play. This is what I told it to play. There we go. Alright, hopefully... That does not set off the uh, YouTube alarms. All right, just gonna post this everywhere, and then once I have it all posted, we're gonna go ahead and start. Did I forget to change the thumbnail again? I'm stupid. <laughs> I went through and made this whole thumbnail and I forgot to change it. Oh my god. Can't believe I did that again. Uh, where is it? Questing.png. Alright. There we go. That's the correct thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I can see chat now. How is it going? I hope everybody is doing well. Just doing a last minute mic track everything. Okay, we're all set. So hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I have a couple real big announcements right now. Um, the first one is that I have opened up a chat channel. I haven't decided to make a full clan yet. But if you join Cape Freak as a chat channel, then you can you can join in and chat with me in game. So I figured that that would be a uh, that'd be a good thing that people wanted. So here it is in a very beta form. Uh, I'll be I'll be working on this a little bit more as time goes on. But we do have a chat channel now open. The next thing I want to talk about is my progress with uh with magic and how many iron bars I've done. I've gone through quite a bit of the stack, not a whole lot of it. Uh, I only only had the opportunity to do this for a couple hours here and there. Um, so we are up to level 49 magic, which is huge. That actually means that we can cast level three enchant. We can start doing birdhouse runs now. So we're gonna be setting that up right away. Um, and to go along with that, we also got 42 mining and I decided off stream to go buy myself a nice little rune pickaxe as well. So. We have our first runite tool, which is very, very good. Uh, to go along with that, 35 smithing is also okay, but the real big things are that mining and magic are doing fantastic at this moment. So uh, yeah, that's really the big things I just wanted to go over really quick before we dive right in. Uh, there is also one other thing I do want to point out. While I was mining, I did get a beginner clue geode. So we're going to go ahead and start off stream. We'll do this clue right afterwards. Then we'll go ahead and uh, get some... Uh, we'll, we'll get some clockworks. And we're going to go ahead and start doing some birdhouse runs. Then right after that, I plan on doing uh, Lost Tribe and a little bit of Death to the Dorgashun, at least to unlock the ham store rooms, because those will be important for money later on. I My cash stack has dwindled quite a bit since the winter talk grind, so this is necessary. This is needed. Um, and then right after that, I'm going to do Holy Grail for some defense levels. And then I'm going to go through and do the Shadow of the Storm quest line to unlock ranged. Uh, this will allow me to actually use ranged uh, like a bone crossbow when I'm grinding out goblins. So I think that'll be an overall good thing. Um, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, animal magnetism might be good to attempt here soon. But I think it requires, yeah, it requires some Slayer levels that I don't have. So I don't know. We might do some early level Slayer. But for right now, at the very least, we've got several quests to do. We've got a few things to go for. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. So where's this first one here? Shantae. All right. 
go ahead and just grab my travel runes super fast. Uh, what am I missing? Air, water, earth. I have fire on my arm. Yeah, we're fine. All right, let's go to, uh, to a home teleport just so that way we're not wasting runes. I also should grab the uh, spade and the orb really fast. And then I also need to bring with me, I think it's six oak logs that we need to turn into planks. So I'll grab that while we do this clue. Yeah, today's going to be a pretty packed day. We've already been on for two hours just doing the uh, superheat items thing, our superheat item thing. So, yeah, we've already been on for a bit. So, we'll see how long string goes tonight. I, at the very least, want to do Shadow of the Storm. Uh, beginner clues are not a big priority tonight, but because we did get one, I at least want to do it. Uh, I also need to get a uh, hammer saw. I need six of these and three of these. And I'm also going to need uh, four of these. And then uh, whenever we get the chance to drop by Draenor Village, I need to buy out all the hop seeds. Just to get those started. Hopefully 80k is enough of an investment cost to actually go through with it. I just realized I need my cash stack. Uh, I'll grab it from this chest over here. Well done. Another clue. Nice. Uh, give me money. There we go, this is what I need. So yeah, we're down bad quite a bit, but it's fine. Okay, so now that we have that taken care of, uh, what's this next clue? Veronica outside of Draenor Manor. Well, there's our opportunity to pick up some uh, hop seeds, so may as well take that opportunity while we are here. like a neater inventory setup overall. Okay. So how much are the hop seeds? Because I, I think it's like, what, 10 per... I think it's 10 hop seeds per uh, birdhouse. So how much are they if I just straight up purchase them from you, Olivia? I get. Hmm. They are sold out. Okay. Also, how many hop seeds do they sell actually? Hold on. Where where are they? Where'd Olivia go? There they are. Olivia has one, two, three, four, and I'm pretty sure this never goes up. So four hop seed slots. That should be fine. Uh let's go ahead. Yeah, we already have this. Let's just start hopping. Hopping and buying. I think I only want to buy like a couple stocks. I think I want to get like a hundred of each if it, the game lets me. Let's go to a bit of a higher number world. C421. Oh wow, I can access 500 skill total worlds. I guess it makes sense. What what skill total am I right now actually? I'm kind of curious. I haven't checked in a minute. 767. Wow. Getting pretty close to that. Uh, Golly, there's like no hop seeds. Oh wait, barley seeds. Barley seeds are good, actually. Hold on. I forgot that barley were hops. Or barley was a type of hop. Uh, what am I putting away for this? Let's just put away these steel bars for right now. We don't need those at the current moment. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll get like a hundred of each. Or at least just buy out a few worlds, see how that goes. Is jute a seed that can work? Oh, didn't mean to steal from the seed stall. Whoops. Uh, I should probably hop worlds. Sorry, Olivia, didn't mean to steal your livelihood. Uh, let me let me actually double check this here before I start doing things I uh, are, am going to regret. Okay. Um, birdhouse. Uh, let's see. So any herb seed jute counts. Okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I'll just do that then. Uh, where's Olivia? Please let me buy from you. Okay, we're gonna have to come back later then. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. A misclick killed that method. That is a-okay. Let's hope that we get lucky with this beginner clue. I kind of hope that I just get a cape right away. That'd be nice. Uh, another clue. Okay. What is this one? Uh, Reldo. Uh, God. A top ice mountain? That's kind of a bad one. Okay, whatever. Is what it is. This is what I have to do. So, we'll go ahead and race up to the top of the mountain and then open the chest. that sells barley seeds or is it just Olivia? Uh, let's see. Barley seed. Shop locations. Uh, farming guild and Olivia. Okay. That's not good for me then. Oh well. good this is a big casket number I think it was like what 22 21 oh we got another ornament kit okay and a wizard robe let's go that's actually good I wanted that okay awesome now we have some more magic stuff that's pretty cool a guthics ornament kit too that's pretty nice so we have two out of the three ornament kits in 20 beginner clues that's pretty good. So what are we at? Uh, what are we at collection log wise for beginner clues? Yeah, I've got the Monk's Road top and we've got two of the three scimitar uh, ornament kits. So that's pretty cool. Still got to get the capes though. Capes are the biggest thing. So I have to go back and get some of that a bit more or a bit later. Uh, for now, let's go to... Uh, I think Falador is still closest to a bank for right now. So let's head to Falador, deposit some stuff, and then uh, we're gonna go through and start building a house. Okay, this we're gonna go ahead and dunk in here. Same thing with this. Uh, Strange device goes here, spade goes here. Uh, we don't need nails for this part, but we still are going to need the four steel bars. Uh, 
the cape situation with the teleports yeah that should be fine for right now let's go ahead and head into the house now hopefully i don't have uh i didn't have the planks so that was good that that didn't work also gonna go ahead and put the beaver away while we do house shenanigans currently using the guthix trim nice nice the uh the guthix trim is what i have on the regular iron so it's cool that i it's cool that i was able to get it back uh okay so beaver pets going away for now we're gonna make six planks and then hope that we have enough to actually make a workshop i feel like we will i just you never know i'm, I'm a little nervous about that money's a little tighter than i would have liked it to be the rune pickaxe put a bit of a dent in the stack a little bit but fortunately the uh ham storerooms are just a really really good money maker in general so gonna be focusing on that at least getting it unlocked so that way i can use it whenever i need to i won't be able to high elk anything yet but it will be nice to at least be able to go to the rd west general store and sell it uh just to make things a bit easier or i could even go to rogue's den too because that's not the rd west general store is not the only store that buys it out price all right uh i need all of these okay that was not nearly as much money as i thought it would be let's just see how much the room is i feel like the room is going to be the most expensive part of this there's a Godzami kit, but you traded for Gothics. Oh, gotcha. Okay, we need a workshop. Uh, that looks fine. We're gonna build that. Okay, cool. Uh, now this is... That's a repair. This is a workbench. This is a clock-making space. I think this is where the workbench is. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I should be able to just upgrade this straight up to the highest level. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that gonna keep upgrading keep upgrading one more upgrade let's go we now have a fully kitted out clock makers bench and we are going to make some clockwork mechanisms uh two three and four excellent excellent so we are good to go on the clockworks now let's head back to camelot here and uh let's let's get ready for our first ever uh birdhouse run so saw isn't needed for birdhouse run uh, we're gonna go ahead and just stick these in here for now. I also do want to start getting spots for all the seeds. Uh, we're gonna put those after the logs, just for better inventory management. We're gonna do this, so that way it's in decreasing order. Um, cash stack can go away. We're fine on that one. How many ruby necklaces do I have? That's quite a few. So let's go ahead and throw out the cosmic runes and just uh, start enchanting away. Alright, cool. Now we have dig site pendants. We're going to go ahead and put those here I think may as well enchant the diamond ring as well having a oh I can't enchant it yet all right never mind ring of life's not worth it um how many quests have I done uh I have done uh 40 quests I already have uh fossil island unlocked so it's literally just doing a birdhouse run uh, let's go ahead and just keep this here. I want to grab the money and see if uh, I am able to start buying from Draenor again. If I can, fantastic. If not, Rip, we're going to go ahead and at least do a birdhouse run to get things started. And then 
uh, start some questing. I think first what I want to do is Holy Grail. I think I want to knock that out as early as possible just to give myself some defense levels and make uh, Demon Slayer and Shadow of the Storm a lot safer. Uh, same thing with the fight against Sigmund in the Death of the Dorkashun. Because I, I feel like if I'm starting that quest, I may as well finish it. And unlock the full potential of the Bone Crossbow. Ouch. Why would you do that to me? By the way, for those of you who missed the uh, announcement, I do have a chat channel. I don't have a clan chat yet, but I do have a chat channel under this account's name. Uh, so feel free to hop in and hang out. Okay, we're gonna... Rosemary seeds are not, but jute is. So this is what we need. Those five seeds. All right, let's go ahead and start hopping worlds. Just got on. Hope your night is going good so far. What are we doing tonight? A lot of questing. A lot of questing. The plan is to complete Shadow of the Storm, Holy Grail, and uh, as well as a couple of other odds and ends like uh, Lost Tribe and Death of the Dorgashun. This is mainly just to start the ability to start training range with the bow crossbow. Um, I'm trying to think of what I need to do for Slayer uh, and see what I should do in order to get the Slayer requirement for the Ava's devices, but eh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. It is only nine Slayer levels, so it won't be that bad, but I feel like I won't have enough time to actually get those nine Slayer levels tonight, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, okay, we've got a good chunk. Let's get a bit more. I want to get like a hundred in almost everything so far. Pursuit of interest and wanted. Oh, right. Wanted. How much does pursuit of interest give you? Because I know pursuit of interest does give you good, uh, like reward point rewards, but I, I don't know about XP rewards because that, that did cross my mind. Wanted though. I completely forgot that they gave Slayer XP. That's a really good shout. Uh, that's more quests to do, though. 3k? Okay, that's a decent chunk. Does it tell me the quest rewards? It doesn't tell you the rewards. Okay. Um, Guardians for Rip. Let's go ahead and buy out these last four, or these last four worlds that I see on my screen, and then we'll, uh, we'll do a birdhouse run. Where's Olivia? There she is. Only 1k? Oh, okay, that's not that bad. Not as good as 3k, but still, that's 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 definitely nothing to sneeze at for as low a level. One, it's 5k? That's huge. That's huge. It's just a long quest. That's the only reason why I'm a little resistant to that right now. I definitely don't have time to get to that quest tonight. Dorf RFD subquest also gives 1k. I did not know that. That's weird. You don't even kill anything in that quest. Why does it give you Slayer XP? Oh, uh, whatever. This game is strange. Yep, we're gonna go to a high earth world. Yeah, 30 Slayer points. I didn't know about the reward points. That's, that's huge. That's actually huge. Okay, that's that should be enough to start off some birdhouse runs. I'll need to come back and buy more seeds, uh, but I'll, I'll do that after stream. Jute seeds I am going to need to put here. Okay, let's go ahead and get barley seeds. We are going to need to wear this. We'll just keep that down here for now. We also are going to need a hammer chisel. We are going to need four wood uh we need four wood what can i actually make in terms of birdhouses can i make oak yet i cannot okay so we're gonna have to chop some trees real fast just need four so that's not too bad hopefully one round will be enough to actually allow me to make uh oak birdhouses 
but just on the off chance i'm actually going to go ahead and just grab eight uh eight logs real quick to ensure that i could do two runs we're starting the birdhouse grind early i want to i want to get the hunter grind done as fast as possible so i don't have to think about it so getting it done as early as possible is is huge gonna be very important for us okay let's go ahead one two three four good let's deposit that start throwing these in here grab all of these and i can just straight up make these into birdhouses right away right okay cool do i have the fossil island teleport unlocked i do not okay so i'm gonna have to unlock that first really quick as well i'm pretty sure i did unlock the mush trees though so I should be fine on that regard. It'll take a while to get there, so we'll just sit back and relax a bit. Though I am happy that I finally have dig site pendants. That's actually, I'm very happy, very happy about that. 49 magic was a much bigger goal than I had anticipated. <laughs> Incorporate seaweed runs into your bird rounds for maximum EHP. Yeah, I do need to start incorporating seaweed runs, but I am at level one farming, so that ain't happening today. It will happen soon, but not today. What do I even need to grow seaweed? Uh, that'd be a special thing, right? 23? Okay, that's not bad. After I do all the beginning farm requests, that should be completely fine. And I do plan on right after I start unlocking farming, I'm actually going to tide farm all the way up to 65 so I can get the farming girl as early as possible too. I just start running like uh uh contracts even though low level contracts aren't the greatest they're better than nothing okay where is the thing there it is we're going to use this on the plinth all right cool and now we have birdhouses fully unlocked so we could just go right for it now and if i am correct it should be 10 seeds per right it is yes uh mushroom meadow i haven't done the swamp one yet because i don't I don't think I can survive the fall, and I really don't want to go through the swamp yet. Not until I actually start doing, like, Salaceps. First birdhouses runs have been officially set up. Um, so what do I want to do first? I think I said Holy Grail was first. Uh, what do I need for Holy Grail? Uh, I need Camelot, Ardy, Fally, and Teleports. I need Anti-Poison. I think I have that. Uh, food, Weapon, and Armor. Yep, yep, yep. I need Excalibur, of course. Uh, okay. Oh, I know why I need the anti-poison. It's for the spiders. Okay. Fisher King Realm, Finding Percival, Fisher King Realm, finishing up. Okay. Yeah, the only thing that's actually going to be scary is the Black Knight Titan, so not too worried. Uh, let's go ahead and dump this in here. And there we go. Actually, yeah, let's put, let's put the uncharged jewelry down here. 
Ring of Life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -bum. What am I looking at here for gear? That is pretty decent. Uh, what swamp one? You thought there were only four. There are only four. I'm just thinking of the swamp mush tree. It's only useful for uh, Soliaceps. Where's Excalibur? Because that's like the only one that I actually need. And I guess we'll bring like 10 salmon. That should be plenty. I shouldn't need more than this for this quest. Ah, oh, quest speed running. We are going to have to do that sometime. I'm not sure when, but there is a cape that is associated with quest speed running. So, um, yeah, gonna have to gonna have to figure out when to do that pretty soon. Also, gonna have to start grind grinding speed running again. I can never escape it. Once I start speed running, I can never get come back from it. I started off with Wind Waker. Now we're now we're caught hard with uh, RuneScape. <laughs> oh, how far we've come. Arthur! Arthur, King of the Britons. The level 50 combat? That's all it's needed? What am I? Level 34? Okay, that's not bad at all. Alright, four minutes until we have max run energy, so that's nice. King of the... Ooh... I got a hat. I cannot walk into this castle without just immediately thinking about everything Monty Python. Also, not really feeling this song. We're gonna go ahead and skip it. Not always the biggest fan of like the super heavy dubstep. It just is like, a little excessive to me. I say as that song was literally almost done. I just. Mm. What's well, the bass drop? I wasn't really into it. <clears throat> Dubstep was a vibe in 2012. It was. I never really got into electronic music that much. Like, I, I like this kind of a sound, but I've always preferred real instruments over electronics. And that might just be me having have played several instruments in my life, but eh. I, I don't know enough to be able to, like, call out artists and stuff. Like, the only artist that I actually listen to when it comes to EDM would probably be Anamanaguchi. And like a little bit like i've heard a little bit of miku um i've heard a little bit of porter robinson as well same thing with maddie on but that's that's about where my edm knowledge starts to get very shaky i know of dead mouse i've never listened to dead mouse Ooh, quiz master I'm curious if we could get a stale baguette. That'd be pretty funny if we can. All right, greatest quiz show. Odd one out. Please welcome our newest contestant, Cape Freak. Ah, uh, odd one out. Obviously the helmet. Uh, odd one out. Necklace. Uh, battle axe. And the ring. Congratulations! You are a winner! Take this mystery box and your stale baguette. 20 nature runes is honestly really good. That that saves some money. I will take that. That is probably the best thing I could have seen, in all honesty. <laughs> the stale baguette is a meme, but this is actually useful. Uh, I'm on a quest to find the Holy Grail. Oh, wait, I need to talk to Entrana first. Okay. Um, how do I get to Entrana from here? 
What's the fastest way? Let's go ahead and just teleport outside. Then I need to bank all combat gear. So that, that includes everything here. <gasps> no. Am I gonna have to go to Entrana Capeless? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I think I think I have a cape that I can wear on Entrana. We're gonna go ahead and try that. I think the witch's cape counts. So we're gonna we're gonna use that. All right, hopefully they let me in wearing this awesome cape. I do like this cape a lot. It's really cool. Does do <laughs> This is a stupid question. Does but do fish count as like combat items? I don't think they do, but I don't know, man. This game sometimes, like runes don't count as combat items, even though magic is literally built on runes, but the fish. I'd be surprised if the costume cape counted as a combat item, because it's literally it literally has zero bonuses. They don't? Okay, good. So the only thing we're in danger of is the cape. But since it's the witch's cape and it's a purely cosmetic cape, I don't know, hopefully it doesn't count? We're gonna find out here in a second. Also, thank you very much for the answer, Owen. <laughs> I appreciate it. Ventrana, please don't be mad at me for wearing a cape. Let's go! I was actually able to bring a cape to Entrana. No one can stop me now. Oh, thank you so much. Spotted and spottier cape are allowed? That's good to know, too. See, that, that, that's kind of one reason, too, why I want to start pushing Hunter early is so I can get the spotted and spottier capes pretty early on as well. Because I want to get them before I get the graceful cape. It feels like the natural progression of things. <laughs> All right, Mr. High Priest, I am looking for the Holy Grail. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now we head to this place and we can leave Entrana forever. Ooh, this actually makes me realize I need to start thinking about doing Lost City. Start getting fairy tale and get the uh, the fairy rings unlocked, especially with that new update that came out with the uh, foliage change. Would not be a bad idea to start focusing that cape, or to start focusing that a little early on here. All right, I want this cape. I want Excalibur just to have in my pocket uh i need this i need this where did the wizard shirt go wizard shirt needs to go here for now this blue wizard shirt is literally only useful until i get the prayer level to wear the gothic's rope top uh i'm still one level shy of being able to wear the tome of fire so rip me we're gonna go with chronicle not mean to wear the studded chaps. I'm glad that I didn't wear them. Um, yeah, that's all I need. Is graceful allowed? I would imagine if spotted and spottier is allowed, graceful would also be allowed. 
I guess it just have to be a cape that doesn't really have too many combat bonuses. Because I feel like, like a standard black cape, I feel like that's not allowed on Entrana. I don't know, we'll have to figure out. That's probably, there's probably a wiki article on that or something. <laughs> but not the agility cape or max cape. As much as that seems weird, it does make sense because literally this skill cape that I have right now and any skill cape in general is like best in slot unless you have fire cape. Uh, just because the defensive bonuses are super good and the prayer bonus is also very good for a trimmed cape. So while, while it does seem weird, weird I do kind of get why it's banned. It's because it falls outside of a graceful cape category and falls into a skill cape category, which can be seen as a combat cape. That's the only reason why. Okay, now to go to Draenor. God, I can't wait till I get a glory. Getting to Draenor Village right now is probably the most awkward place to get to in the early game. There, there's like no good teleport there until you have a glory. Uh, hopefully we can get some hard clues pretty soon. I'd like to get a trimmed glory. That'd be really, really hype. Otherwise, uh, that's, that's a good crafting grind. Yeah, maybe next stream. Maybe the next stream I do, I uh, I unlock farming. <laughs> so I can start doing some seaweed runs. Necklace of Passage takes you to the Wizard Tower. That's a diamond necklace, right? That is really good to keep in mind. I still can't enchant di diamond jewelry yet, though. I need level 57 magic, so I'm I'm a little bit away behind it. Any cape that has attack or defense bonus is prohibited. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense for the, uh, that definitely makes sense then for skill capes because they are, they are mad defensive. A jade necklace. Okay, I can do those. Um, what is jade equivalent to? Okay, so that means that I would have to spend some time in the, uh, uh, that means I would probably have to spend some time in the gem mine at Shiloh Village to get some jades. Okay, good. Now we have two magic whistles. Uh, okay, this is where I start to fight the Black Knight Titan. Okay. Uh, I should buy an anti-poison before I do this, actually. Just, just for the, uh, or not buy an anti-poison, I should get my anti-poison. Just because the island has some poisonous spiders, and uh, I'd rather not have to deal with those. Is there a poll going on right now? It's the wrong one. There is not a poll going on. Was there a poll that just finished? Ah, this one, okay. I don't think I voted in it. I don't care what the results are. I'm just happy that they're putting in new content. That's my thing. I wish they would f focus server stability a little bit more, but you know, I can't have everything. So we'll take what they give me. Uh, I want the Artie Cloak actually. That is going to be a good emergency teleport. Plus, that also, I think, is a free... Yeah, it's actually a free way to get to Brimhaven. Or a free way to get to the boat to Brimhaven. So that's better than burning another law rune on a house tally.
I don't have money. <laughs> I even called out that I needed money for this. Okay, I'm gonna walk because I, I need run energy to get past the spiders. Let's bring like 60 coins. That's all I need, I think. So I have to do the finishing blow with the Scalibur. Now that I'm looking at the quest guide, um, the salmon will be fine because I could safe spot the, the Titan up until it gets to low health. But when I actually start to go up and face tank the Titan, that's when I'm a little bit scared. So I'm going to get some tank armor for that. I think the hardcore armor should just be fine. Uh, okay. Yep, we want that. Let's do the gnome amulet just because it's a little tankier. The wooden shield's not going to do anything, so we'll leave that. But this at least is a good amount of stuff. Yeah, that, that'll be a quick switch once I... Uh, That'll be really easy to switch into once I actually get there. Uh, no, I do want that. Let's just do this, actually. Nice quick switches. Uh, Brimhaven. Okay, now we are ready. That's the exact place I need to go. All right, if these spiders poison me, then I will be sad. Uh, these are the things that'll poison me. Don't do it. Ah, uh, you did it. All right, let's see how long this takes. <laughs> Yeah, I have about 1,500 casts of Fire Strike. If I can't do this, I'm going to be pretty sad. This will take a while, though. This is going to take quite some time. So uh, grab a drink if you need one. Get some popcorn. We're, uh, we're in it for the long haul. There we go. Here's my AFK magic training. Time to flick that mystic will. Actually, you're right. The last graphical update for the Titan was January 2005. Ouch. Oh, buddy. Flick it. Bop it. Twist it. Yep. The Black Knight Titan is the best bop it that has ever been made. I wonder how much this 5% boost is actually doing for me. Probably not a whole lot. 
actually, while I am doing this, I think I should set up my quick prayers for poor man piety really fast. Just so I can at least uh, flick that while I do the Excalibur hits. Yeah, it's only 5%. It's not that big. So, uh, so I'm really wondering how impactful it is. Like if it actually is a significant bit faster doing this. Because 5% is really not much. Five percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing is the worst RS existence. It's just here to die. It can't even walk. The only place it gets to walk is Nightmare Zone after it's already dead. It doesn't even keep its like its uh, resistance of only being able to be killed by Excalibur too. After this, it's it's just a normal mob. Come on. Come on. A little more. Once it gets down to like 5 health, I'm gonna start attacking it with the sword. Do you remember Wooks locking it in a league? That's awesome. <laughs> I have no idea how to Wooks lock. All right, one more good hit and then I'll switch to the sword. Flinching it wouldn't do anything, right? I don't think so. I'm just gonna slash it. Oh, I can flinch it. I guess we're flinching this now. Actually, nah, I'm just gonna walk in and see. Ah, yeah, we know we, yeah, we're flinching this. Didn't realize this thing hit that hard. Okay, that did one damage. Okay, three damage, that's a bit better. It has a 15 max hit, that's insane. I have a high max hit too, I swear, I just have to be able to hit. Okay, okay, three more damage, three more damage. Just one more good hit, it's all I need.
I don't even need to fully flinch it. I could have just done that the whole time. Okay, awesome. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right, cool. Black Knight Titan dead. Uh, I need to talk to the fisherman. I always forget about that part. Pick up the bell outside the castle. Okay. All right, time to talk to the Fisher King and let's finish out the quests. All right, now we have to go back to Camelot. Oh, okay, that's why. I was like, what, what did I just miss out on? Okay, uh, yeah, hardcore Iron Man pants I can put away. Honestly, everything else I could put away. That's all I needed for, for like food and stuff. Okay, still need that. No, wait, hold on. I still need the 30 coins. 10, 20, 30. Okay, let's just do this. 10, 20, 30. Okay, uh, that should be good. Uh, let's actually hit up the chapel here really quick because I'm pretty sure this is a task How far out am I on my next birdhouse run so 818 so I still have 11 minutes no 21 minutes Hello, welcome, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome, music. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Glad you can make it. We're just knocking out some nice, quick uh, things here to get combat working. We're get rid of the, we're getting rid of the pure. It will be a farming pure at this point. All right, and now we go to Falador. Oh wait, this gives us prayer XP. I think this might allow us to wear the um good the uh Guthic's rope top. That's pretty cool if that's the case. We'll take that. I definitely want the Guthic's rope top. K prayer yeah I just noticed that that that'll definitely be enough to put me up to where I can uh, wear the Guthix robe top because what am I at right now like 3k yeah that'll put me at like level almost level 30 honestly that'll be nice too because that means I won't have to kill so many dragons I should have done this quest a while ago
Do I need the grill bell anymore? I could probably drop that pretty soon. I definitely don't need this. That I can 100% drop. Honestly, the, the game doesn't say I need the grill bell, so I'll just get rid of that. I also probably don't even need the magic gold feather anymore. No, wait, I do need it. I do need it. I'll drop it after the quest. What level does crumble on dead? 39? Okay, yeah. Lost City will be easy then. Brimhaven. Now this is where we run. And hopefully the poison scorpions don't attack me. They probably will though. Okay, they missed. Let's go. Still got one more in my way. Let's go. Didn't have to use that second dose. That is what we like to see. Straight up grab the grail now. Okay, awesome. Hey, nice. And now back to Camelot. Magic whistle I don't need because the only other time I'll be getting there is through fairy ring. odd clue reward that actually requires it all right let's see what that gives me holy grail completed 30 prayer hell yes 31 defense that's amazing at least it's not a grail shaped beacon <laughs> yeah no definitely you're right Awesome. So what does that put me at? 30 defense, 31, uh, or 30 prayer, 31 defense, level 43 combat. We are getting combat stats up high. We like those. We like seeing that. Okay. Next up, we have Lost Tribe. Where is it? The Lost Tribe. There we are. I literally have everything I need. I just need the pickaxe that I have. Lumbridge, Ferox, Balador, I have those at the ready. I can put away the anti-poison and I can put away... Honestly, just put away everything except for the fire-making cave because that's really all I need. Ah! Whoops. Forgot that I had the left-click teleport set up. Uh, we're just going to go back to Lumbridge. Ah, only three teleports left on the Chronicle. Not ideal, but it's workable. Actually, we can honestly drop the blue wizard top. That's never going to be used again because we have the... Uh, we have the... Uh, other thing. Oh my god, my brain is just not working right now. Um, this thing, the Guthix rope top. I can wear that now, right? Yes. 
let's go. That's such a good item. So happy I got that early. Okay. Uh, Arty Cloak's really not needed for this quest. We can put that away. I just need a pickaxe. Okay. All right, cool. We are ready to do this quest. This should be quick. Oh, wow, that was quick. The guy immediately told me about goblins. Let's go. This will be nice, too, because it'll give me a ring of light. So... That'll just be a nice feeling of safety to have on the account. Not sure what situation will put me under three health, but when it happens, I am ready. And he's on the rubble, right? Yeah, on the rubble. Okay, coming through here. Okay, let's grab the brooch. Good. God, I'm so happy to see, like, the levels starting to get fleshed out more. It's a great feeling. Okay, dug through the rubble, and I found this brooch. Okay, now we're going to Varrock. Without any fire runes. Yeah, that, that, that's the way to do it. Looks like I actually do need to carry my fire staff around. I'm happy that I do have a nice little stock of runes. That that does make me feel pretty good. Let's me know that magic is going to be a staple for a while. Let's go over here. Goblin race. Read this. Wow, what a page turner. Okay. And now we are going back to Lumbee. No, Goblin, Goblin Generals. Glad I checked. I should have probably started Lost Tribe before I did Holy Grail, but I didn't think that far ahead.
still so many quests I have to do. Okay. Let's go talk to General Wartface. All right, we got the goblin salute and the goblin bow. Let's go. And now we go to Mistag. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. It actually has the path drawn out for me. Let's go. Though I also know just clicking on the minimap will automatically take you the correct direction, so... While the map is nice, it was definitely not necessary. start thinking about doing Tears of Guthic soon as well. Gotta love Quest Helper. Oh, it's the best. Takes away all brain power required for questing. I like how clicking on the minimap just allows you to cheese this whole thing. Like, if it wasn't the quest helper, it was the minimap. <laughs> Alright, cave goblins. Pretty soon I will be able to get my bone crossbow. There it is, goblin bow. Uh, scroll wheel on this interface is broken. Okay, weird. with Miss Tag back to Lumbridge. Okay, show me the way out of the mines. Okay, cool. Alright, talk to Duke Horatio Lumbridge. While I'm talking to him, we just reach into his pocket and grab his key. Let's go. Ham robes. And then enter the ham layer. And search a crate. Okay. Uh, an 
not open track door, pick block track door. Then unfortunately for this next part, I am going to have to uh, do some thieving in order to get two full sets of ham, of ham robes. Now granted, this is good for us because this means I get a new cape. <laughs> so I will never say no to that. Um, but it is unfortunate, unfortunate just because it will take a bit of time. Uh, but you know, easy clues are also going to be very common here. So that is going to be very, very good for us. Uh, let's fast travel to Lumbridge. And let's sell out Sigmund. Time to walk back through the uh, cave again. <laughs> Hopefully it lets me do it with Miss Stag. But I don't think Miss Stag is here yet. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Rip. Oh wait, no, he is there. That's Kazgar. Okay, awesome. I'm glad you only have to do that series once. Otherwise that'd be a little painful. Alright, cool. Alright. Nice little chunk of mining XP never hurt nobody. And we get a ring of life. That will hopefully never come in handy. I hope I never am put in a situation where I will actively need to use a ring of life. Um, now, I think I need to actually start Death to the Dorgashin in order for me to have a better, uh, yeah, better drop rates for that. So how do I start this? Uh, I need to talk to Mistag. Okay. All right, we'll talk to Mistag and then we'll go rob Ham blind. And we'll do every single easy clue that we get. So we will be doing a little bit of clue content this stream. All right, hi Mistag. Okay, now we are good to go there. Uh, time to get some ham rope sets, and then we will start talking to Zanuck and do this entire process. After the ham set. So we need, God, we still need so much. We need gloves, we need capes, we need like the necklace, we need boots. Okay, we'll be here for a minute. Am I working on my cape series? I sure am. This is indeed the cape freak. Doing a bit of questing right now, just getting some death to the Dorgishin done. This is your new favorite series? Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. All right, bud. 
Let me steal from your pockets. I want your cape. Give me your cape. Are you gonna throw me in jail? What about this one? Ah, <laughs> oh, he threw me in jail. All right, let's, no wait, hold on. I actually need this, uh, don't need the damaged armor. We can go ahead and leave out of that. Just pick lock. Hello, Jimmy the Chisel. Definitely not something many people have done. I appreciate that. It's addicting, oh man. All right, well, I gotta, gotta make sure I get these episodes out timely. I've been good at doing them uh, one a week. This one, I hope I can, oh, let's go, new cape. We have the ham cape now. That's another one for the collection. Let's go, I am excited. All right, got gloves. All right, just just let just let me let me keep robbing you. Come on, let me rob you blind. All I need are your clothes. Okay, that is one full set done. No, almost, not quite. We're gonna go ahead and just drop this stuff. Okay, that is almost one full set done. We still need the icon. What's my plan for third age capes? Uh, <laughs> gonna be real? Don't really have one. Um, that's gonna be definitely one of those things that I will look at once I get there. But because it's so, so insanely uh, rare, I think the way that I'm gonna be going about it is that if I get an elite clue or a master clue, I have to do them. I am not allowed to drop them unless it requires an item that can only be gotten from clues that I don't already have. Um, but I'm not allowed to drop those. The only exception would be to turn the cape or turn the uh, elite clue into a master clue. But yeah, there's there's not really too much that I can do about that grind. It's just do the clues as I get them. All right, come on. Streamer RNG? Yeah, no, streamer RNG is I mean, if if the beaver has shown anything, it at least shows that streamer RNG exists to some degree. Now, whether or not third age streamer RNG exists, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. I think the fact that I have openly stated that third age is a goal on this account, I think it's going to troll me and give me another third age piece before it gives me a cape. I, I just have that feeling, that sneaking suspicion. Um, let's bring like some food, just like, just a little bit, not, not a whole lot. Enough to be able to be down there for a while. Beaver, yeah! I got in the last episode. There's a 1 in 263,000 drop from Teak Trees. Below level 50 woodcutting. I got absurdly lucky. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a fast way to get clues. Honestly, like when I was starting to do elite clues or when I start to do elite clues, I'm planning on doing like Corrupt Gauntlet for that. Like Corrupt, corrupt Gauntlet, Barrows, like I'm doing bossing to get the, uh, the elite clues. So not really a good way to get them. I, I have no idea what my plan is for hard clues whenever I need to start doing that grind. Cause there are like two crepes, two, two or three crates or, Ah, two or three capes that I need to get from hard clues. Uh, I have no idea how to farm those other than just killing hellhounds. Or warp jellies. Just barraging jellies. 
That would be the only other method I can think of. All right, there's the second cape. Let's go. Now Xanik can join me in my conquest to get all capes. I still need two icons, a robe top, gloves, and boots. All right. Please give me the items. Okay, got another pair of gloves. Well, that was an extra pair. Didn't need that one. Do I already have an easy clue in my bank? I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm down for the challenge. Okay, there's one icon. So I just need boots, a rope top, and that's it. Yeah, just boots, a rope top, and another icon. Okay, almost done. Prep on this actually didn't take nearly as long as, it, as I thought it would. Still has taken a bit longer than I would have liked, but it's not as bad as I thought. Ooh, also, right after this, I can go do uh, a birdhouse run. See if I can get level 15 hunter from the first birdhouse run. Alright, give me clothes. Oh wait, that's a jade, isn't it? Okay, that's good for necklaces of passage. Let's actually go ahead and just wear a set really fast just to make sure I have some inventory space. Okay. I'm pretty sure I already have buttons, so I don't think I need to keep any. Okay, there's a second icon. All I need is a pair of boots and a rope top. boots yay now I just need a shirt all I need is a shirt and I'm done I'm surprised I haven't gotten an easy clue I wonder if I have one in my bank I don't think I do Unlucky. Polish buttons for animal magnetism. I'm pretty sure I have some in my bank. Hey, there we go. We're done. Just on the off chance, though, because now I'm questioning myself. I'll at least grab one of the buttons and polish them. Okay, cool. Now to do some death to the Dorgishun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take all this off. And eat one of these. Two of these. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Just go ahead and start figuring this out. I'm pretty sure right after this I can just immediately get rid of all the ham stuff, but I at least want a place for the cave. Uh, do I have buttons? I do already have buttons, so we were good on that front. Uh, let's dump this, and let's just go ahead and put a spot in here. All right, now we have a placeholder for the ham cape. The first cape after we got after the skill cape. Okay, let's do it. Oh, did I, I completely missed the fact that I dropped jades. I was so laser focused on the, uh, on the other stuff. Eh, whatever. I could get jades elsewhere. Not worried about it. Uh, yes, I have two sets of robes. Alright, I have one set of robes. Alright, now we're gonna talk to the Duke. 
Okay, so it's the Duke, the Cook. Or wait, do I need to talk to the Cook first? Or no, I guess the Duke would be faster. Duke, then Cook. Okay. All right, yeah, we got this. somebody learn archery i'm on the way i have a lot of quests to go but i am on the way to learn how to shoot a bow so i have level one range but by the end of this i should have like level 30 i think at least that's the goal Boom. okay i don't think i talked to the cook i'm gonna talk to the cook really quick It's talking about RFD, so we're good on that. Rip range pier? Yeah, it's gonna happen. Now it's a farming pier. Okay, Father Eric, and then River Lum, and then Gobbles, and then General Store. Did you talk to one of these guys? Where did Xanik go? Okay, there she is. Just disappeared on me. That was strange. Uh, let's do this. Call Xanik. Alright, how far across the bridge do I need to go? Can you talk to these guys here? Okay, yes, they can. I need to do this quest soon too. The issue is the uh, the bullseye lantern. That's the that's a hard requirement. <laughs> so that's some crafting. All right, we're going to ham. Let's go, Zanik. I love the little look that they have. Alright, so this is really like where I needed to do the quest. I, I still am going to finish it because I may as well at this point. Um, but yeah, that this is going to be pretty nice. It's going to be pretty easy. Uh, this unlocks ham store rooms. This is going to be probably the best money maker that is available to me for a while. Um, so if I ever am strapped for cash, I need to go get some stuff for like mage training arena or just like any runes. Uh, this will be where I spend my time. So that is why we are doing this quest. That is the entire reason why. Just got 71 hunter. Congrats. Oh, speaking of which, I need to do my birdhouse run soon.
Okay, now we got the trap door, pick lock, and ham storeroom's time. Sniper assassin, let's go. Okay, now we go up through here. And through here. Run, run, run. Nah, he still got me. Come on. Ah, whatever. Okay, let's try it again. Assassinating, yeah. This is the Hitman level. Zanuck with a one-drop shot. Oh yeah. I want I want Zanuck on all my uh, all my uh, Rainbow Six teams. They're just too good. All right, there's one down. Time to get a couple more. Okay, gonna wait till this guy passes. Now we're good to go in and run over here. Okay, there's that guard down. Now, go for it. Let's go, the, the shot through the wall. <laughs> Zanuck to wait. Wait here. Okay, and then I have to go back around here. And then this should lower lure the guard. Good. We're gonna go over here. Tell Zanuck to wait. Here. Okay, now we go this way, then this way, then up over here. You need Zanuck on your top team? Oh, absolutely. All right, cool. So now we can loot the storerooms and get some money. So that'll be something I'll probably do off stream. Want to keep all the action on stream. In the end, did it didn't even matter? Oh, dude, it gets better. It gets so much better because like, you know, I just get thrown in jail because I'm a human. Xanic? Xanax just dead. Xanax just over here dead. So, uh, now I've got a dead goblin in my backpack. <laughs> okay, now I need to get my rest of my stuff. Uh, we'll keep the hand cloak on because fashion. All the rest of this I can drop though. I definitely don't need it. We need to wear this, so we'll do that. Take me, yeah, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh wait, I do need a pickaxe. Okay, I didn't realize I needed one. 
Would love the Xanic crossbow in OS. It's the bone crossbow. That's the uh, that's the part that teaches you how to use the special attack of the bone crossbow. But yeah, it's it's just a bone crossbow. Nothing crazy. All right, I need to watch out for wall beasts because they are down here and they they do like to make life difficult. Okay, these walls are fine. I don't think any of these things are outright aggressive. There's a wall beast here, isn't there? There's not, okay. I think I could jump across this. Let's go. Ah, uh, Tears of Gothics. We do not have you unlocked yet. Soon, though. Just a few crafting levels, and then we can do it. Bows and arrows and listenable? That's funny. <laughs> Juna, baby! Alright, time for Tears of Guthix. Let's go. All I need is 20 tears, huh? I'll get 21. Let's go! I predicted right! Alright, that's all I needed. Tell me a story. Zanuck is dead. <laughs> that is how the dialogue worked, wasn't it? Ah, I'm not really liking this song. Let's go ahead and skip it. Not digging the heavy dubstep. Now, oh wait, do I actually need everything? Oh, did I get rid of my ham robes too soon? Oh, please tell me that they didn't despawn yet. Oh, please tell me they haven't despawned yet. Oh, come on. Where are they, where are they? Did I trash him here or did I trash him in the basement? I think I trashed him in the basement. Okay. Oh, this is a bad time to not run. I should have checked the guide before I trashed him. That's bad. Thought that was medium dubstep. I'm not a big fan of like that super crunchy wubbing sound or the, or the super crunchy like bass drops. I, I just, it's just not my style. No! Wow, okay. Punished. Very punished for that. Okay, well, back to doing ham stuff. I just, just gotta double check here. Okay, I do not have an easy glue. Ah, uh, what a tactical blunder that was. I should have waited till the quest was done. Ah. Uh, oh well. What can you do? You can set a, you can keep a set in the POH. There's no reason to keep a set though after this quest. The only reason why I want it is for the cape. Otherwise, there's no reason ever to wear ham robes. Oh, 
Oh, are they needed for clues? Okay, then in that case, I do need to keep a set. Uh, all right, well, round two. Let's see how long it takes for me to get a full set of ham robes from scratch. Minus the cape, because I do still have that cape. Boots and rope for sure. Okay. I'll just get the full set and keep it in the house. Because if they already are using ham sets for other things, there's a good chance that they're going to be using... Uh, that they could include ham sets in the future for some more clue content. Alright, come on. Let me steal from you. Bruh, don't just kick me out immediately. Let me let me actually steal things. I've only been able to get two successful pickpockets off. There we go. Outside? Okay, yeah, it is. Clue greater than parrot. Let's go. Yep. Or clue into parrot. Uh, I don't think these guys drop beginner clues, unfortunately. I think it's just uh, mediums. Or, sorry, not mediums. I think it's just easies. Which the parrot is not on the drop table for, unfortunately. I do hope that I get the parrot first, though. Like, between the jester cape and the parrot, I want the parrot. <laughs> The parrot's fun. You would not believe that I have almost 40 thieving with how much I'm failing these pick or these uh pickpockets and the pick locks. Good luck with the boat, thank you, thank you. Thanks for dropping by. Alright, we're just gonna drop all this. <laughs> Okay, one set, let's go. Come on, don't make me just lose this over and over again. That's three fails in a row. Is it gonna kick me out? Okay, no, it at least let me get a couple more pickpockets in before it kicked me out. Top arrow is easy? Nah, beginner. Still is going to be kind of rare to get, though. It's a 1 in 360 drop, so... Uh, it'll take a while. Cape Thief, yep. I mean, there is a thieving cape. That's the next skill cape I plan on getting. I even have the method that I'm going to use unlocked, pretty much. Oh god, I can start that grind, like, right away. Uh, I don't know if I want to, though. Well, that's another ham item, at least. Just not the one we need. This guard standing here is really messing me up. I'm just gonna go to someone different. New victim! I can't, don't have to do a whole grind at once. Oh yeah, no, I definitely won't. The thieving grind is gonna take like a good couple months. Like that, that's definitely something that is not gonna be an active grind whatsoever. And the stream with a little bit of grind to wind down. Yeah, that's a good idea. Keep thine hands to thine self. Right, he hates goblins and he thinks he's all better than us now. <laughs> I'm kicking myself for, get it, for forgetting about the ham stuff. Ah, uh, man. If I get kicked out again, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the birdhouse run really fast. This quest is taking a bit longer than I was anticipating.
Oh, please do. That'd be really funny. It'd, it'd knock the... It'd, it'd make the thief get very off guard very quick, that's for sure. Would definitely watch any grind you'd make it be enjoyable. I appreciate that. I just personally don't think that grinding for hours on stream is very entertaining or enjoyable, personally. That's why I don't tend to like doing the AFK grinds on screen. That's why I switched the Winter Talk grind into an AFK grind. Uh, just because at a certain point, you know, streaming Winter Tot for three, four hours a night, not, not really the best thing to watch, especially if you already kind of know how it goes. Okay, I am just getting stupid unlucky right now. Fair enough. All right, please don't kill me. I, I literally just give me your clothes. That's all I want. Just give me your awesome outfit. Oh, that's Sigmund. Oh my God, please. Why am I failing this so much? The thieving level on these guys isn't that high. Ah, uh, thieving, <laughs> thieving. <laughs> uh, and of course, I click too early. Let me in. Let me in. There we go. <laughs> All I had to do is get a little unhinged, and it worked. Every single time these guys hit me, it makes me die inside a little bit. At least just kick me out so I can do my birdhouse run. Yeah, yeah, hit me one more time. See what happens. Yeah, hit me one more time. See what happens. Alright, well... They hit me one more time. And they keep putting me back in jail. What's the goal? I am currently trying to do Death to the Dorgashin. I need uh I need one set of ham robes because I was stupid and got rid of the set that I had for the quest too early. So uh we are fighting RNG in the worst way possible because even though these things take like level five thieving to do it and I have level 40 thieving, uh, they are very, very good at preventing me from being able to pick their pockets. Like, yeah, I just failed like five times there was something that should only take level 15 thieving to actually fight. It, it's insane. Oh my god, my RNG is not good right now. And now I have four health and I got... Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna do a birdhouse run. We're gonna do a birdhouse run. We're gonna walk away from this for a second. <laughs> I, I, I was due for bad RNG, but golly, this was... This is the kind of bad RNG that like starts to get really infuriating because it's not like I'm doing anything wrong. I'm not clicking something bad. It's just the game decides that they don't want me to be a thief. We don't own you? Yeah, I know, but this is... But, but I want to I wanna finish this quest. Honestly, I really don't have to. I have already completed the goal that I need. I can, I can, I can cool off on this one. Let, let's, uh... Because, yeah, I still need to do Demon Slayer and all that stuff. Yeah. It's not going to feel good walking away from this quest when it's basically done. I'll at least do the birdhouse run and see how I feel after that. It's, it's personal at this point. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All because of a snap judgment mistake to chuck things onto the ground. 
Okay, let's put you in here. We don't need this. We can put all this away. Put that away too. Let's heal up first. Okay, good. Let's grab this, put you on, and now we need a hammer, chisel. We need these logs and barley seeds. Every bad way you can click a mouse. Yeah. Okay, that's the second birdhouse. Okay, stop giving me levels. I, I understand, I appreciate it, but let me let me do the thing. Okay. Uh mushroom meadow. Does this get me to 14? Do I need to chop another four logs? This should get me to 14. Two hundred sixty seven XP. Oh, what was I getting so far? Eight hundred forty. Yeah, that yeah, this, that should be enough. That should be enough to get me to 14. We're OK. Oh, nice. Nice. Congrats. A skill cape on the pier. That's what we like to see. All right. The Vendetta's real. I want to get my full ham set. All I need is the hood, the top, the gloves, and the boots. I need four things. It's personal now. I want this. I want this badly. Just for me. Go ahead and just chuck everything in here and let's grab like five salmon just for some food to sustain some trips. And now back in the ham members. I'm surprised we still haven't gotten an easy glue yet. Like, I think that's probably the thing I'm most surprised about is the fact that we still haven't gotten an easy glue from ham members. You got this? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully going and planting some birdhouses reset my RNG. This is those moments where I'm like, oh, I should get gloves of silence or like dodgy necklaces, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it for these things. <laughs> Oh, hey, there we go. Easy clue. Uh, yeah, we'll go do this real fast. I do want to maximize my possibility of getting clue rewards, so we'll go ahead and run do this easy clue right away. Okay, I need a spade. Good. Like that inventory setup. 
We're trying to steal a cape and get distracted by buried treasure that may or may not contain a different cape. See, that's the thing. If I pull a cape of skulls, I'll be super happy. I will have no reason to complain ever again on this account. All right, this one, a search of Kate's in Dwarven Mine. That's actually nice that it's this close. Uh, east of the Ice Mountain Ladder entrance in Drogo's. Okay, so this, this is the faster entrance. I don't know why it's pointing me that direction. This should be the faster entrance. A pretty damn big stake. Uh, how many easy clues have I done? I've done three. If I get a cape of skulls on my fourth clue, yeah, I, I, I can't complain anymore. That's uh, that's way too lucky of a drop to be complaining about. <laughs> What are the odds on this? Let's find out. Uh, so just the Cape of Skulls is, where'd it go? I just saw it. Okay, Cape of Skulls is a one in 5,616 per roll. And there is an average of three rolls per casket. So, yeah, that's, those are some bad odds. <laughs> All right, uh, White Knight's Castle, okay. We'll talk to our ambassador, ambassador Span Fipple. What a weird name. Gnome names of this game are just unhinged. One in 3,000 first casket? No, it is one in... Uh, one in 5,616, so 5,616 divided by three. So it's like, it's more like a one in two-ish K. Nothing crazy, or I mean, it is crazy, but nothing like severe. We've already gotten rare drops on this account. It's much better, yeah. Okay, casket, let's go. Uh, am I going to get rewarded for for having to get a third set of ham robes? Let's find out. I actually did get a unique. And nature runes. Nature runes are always good. Steel plate body T. That looks kind of nice. I, I like that a lot. That's, that's pretty nice. All right, cool. Well, that actually was worth it because I did get a unique. So, hey, let's go. Drippy? Oh yeah, that's right. It's my uh, it's my new fashion scape. Yeah, we'll 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 steal from ham members with this setup here. <laughs> the necklace looks painted on. <laughs> like someone took a marker and just drew a necklace on my chest. <laughs> oh, Rimscape never change. So what was what were the odds on that one? That item was a one in one thousand four hundred four divided by three. This is the outfit you want for the Doxier Livesy meme? <laughs> Including the necklace being painted on. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, gloves, let's go. Unique item. All right, now we just need boots, the icon, and the robe top. 
and the hood. I will also take another easy clue. Okay, good, got the icon. Got the rope top. Let's go, now we're actually getting the things that we needed. So we need the hood and the boots, and that's it. Uh, what did you miss? You had to go get a mage cape? I uh, got the steel plate body tee from an easy clue. I honestly think I've done more clues on this account than I have on my hire. <laughs> I do not do clues very often at all. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Well, didn't mean to shoot that spider with a fireball, but here we are. Guy's likely doing some easy clue farming. I'd be surprised if he's doing Death of the Dorgashun at that level. Here, let me actually steal from over here, because I think it's this place that puts me in the jail as opposed to kicking me out. Okay. Up top, okay. Got a dupe. Two more items. I need boots and hood. Come on. I only was able to pickpocket one thing successfully that time. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is what we call punished. <laughs> This entire thing we could just call punished. Okay. Can I steal from this person? Apparently not. Can I steal from this person? Again, only one successful pickpocket. Okay, two. Is this the one where we get kicked out? No, it's not.
pickpocket this person now. Come on. Give me your hat. Come on, give me your hat. How about you? Give me your hat. I'm realizing now, as I'm doing this, I would never have had the patience to do a only trails account, because this is like the best way to get easy clues, and I can't imagine doing this at level 15. That just seems like a miserable existence. Give me your hat. I want that hat. Alright, hopefully my chances to pickpocket these people are actually good now. Let's go. It actually seems like we're getting some good pickpockets. That is true. That is true. Maybe my solution is that I need to drink more beer. <laughs> the only reason why I'm so salty about this place is because of my own mistakes. If I did not make the mistake of dropping my ham set, I would not be here. So that's the only reason why I'm so salty about it is because I only have myself to blame. <laughs> it may remind me of my father. <laughs> Maybe if I wear more of the outfit, I'll look more like them and they'll be more willing to let me pick their pockets. Oh, that's bad. We're going over here. We're going to pickpocket this person. Oh, we got boots. Okay, all I need is the hood. All I need is the hood. The rope bottom's in my bank. All I need is the hood. Women do give a higher chance of success. That actually just recently changed, like a couple weeks ago. All hand members now have the same uh, have the same chance, uh, whether or not they're male or female. Is a very recent change. Equality, yeah. That's that's actually why they did it. It was for the name of equality. Why would they be different? Uh, it used to be that the uh, that the female members had a they were a lower level to be able to start pickpocketing, and they had less of a fail rate. Um, not sure why they did that, but that's just how it's been for like 20 years. <laughs> so we just kind of accepted it. They also changed uh, recruitment drive as well. There was a gimmick in Recruitment Drive where you could only hurt one of the NPCs if your character was female. But now that's changed and got replaced with another puzzle. So I technically don't need to start my account as a female anymore. I can actually change it back to a male character model if I really wanted to. Women be not checking their pockets. 
guess so. I guess that was their logic, which doesn't make too much sense, but eh, whatever. I appreciate the change that they made. I'm just not going to question why it had, or why it was that way to begin with. Starting your account as female for that quest? Yeah. That's why I started this account as female, is because when I created this account, that change hadn't been implemented yet. And again, where your sex select option actually has a better and worst option sucks. Yeah, absolutely it does. I mean, like, the thing is, is that it was only better literally for one quest. That, that's literally the only reason why you would start females for one quest. Then afterwards, it doesn't matter. Come on, give me your hat. Give me, give me, give me your hat after midnight. Actually, please don't. I'll be in bed by then. That's the wrong ham piece. Oh, all right. We got an easy clue break. Party room, steel full helm, steel plate body, iron plate skirt. That one's actually going to take a while because I don't have any of that. Where's the plate skirt shop? Is that in El Carid? There's a plate leg shop. Where's the plate skirt shop? That is not Alcarid. Is that in Falador then? Got the chain shop. Got the shield shop. Where's the plate skirt shop? Is it still the pants shop? How long do you think it's going to go with the higher hardcore status? Um, if I get quest cape with the hardcore status, I will be happy. That is like the big goal right now. If I can get quest cape, that'll be... That'll be me considering that a success. I know there's a specific plate skirt shop. Hold on, I gotta actually look this up now. Uh, plate skirt. Is it an iron plate skirt? Yeah, where can I buy these? Oh, it is Alcarid. Okay. Yeah, this won't take too long. I can go ahead and knock this out super fast. I do expect to die to Wildy. Uh, I expect to die to the, the Team Cape grind. Like, legitimately, once I start going for those Team Capes, I think that'll be the biggest danger that my account will be in. But we're not starting that until I get Team Cape Zero, so we are safe for the moment. But only for the moment. Louis Legs. Is this the plate skirt shop over here? Oh, yeah, it is. Cape Capes are just trading NPCs now. It is just trading NPCs, uh, but the way that I'm going to go about it is that I need to buy each team cape in order, starting with one, and then I have to do a circuit until I get all 50. And each team cape, they don't sell them like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They sell like 11, 21, 31, 41. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's going to be the scariest grind. Absolutely going to be the scariest grind. Because that means I have to do a wildy circuit 10 times. 
Now granted, I am going to do myself a favor on that end, and I am not going to just do it on stream. It'll be something that I do offline, but it'll be recorded all locally. Gotta jump to a new NPC every cape, that makes it harder? Yep, because it's just more time in the wildy, more opportunity to get killed. Okay, let's go steel, steel, bar, steel full helm. I can purchase these from the helmet shop. Okay, I am going the correct direction. And then I should be able to make a stash unit for this as well. I was going to do Shadow of the Storm tonight. I don't think I'll be able to now. I'll at least be able to start it, but I don't think I'll be able to finish it. Unless I, like, really push. Doing like a private Discord stream so I can still have my favorite, most prolific chatter without exposing myself to the danger. <laughs> I could do that. That is a good idea. What level am I again? Here you go. I'm at 43 combat. Here are my stats. Not gonna bond up your poor pure at all. <laughs> Listen, I trust all y'all. Y'all are great. I'm worried about the people who uh, who who smell blood and want to go for it. Those those are the people that I'm worried about. Don't forget Matt's to build stash. Yep, that's why I dropped by the bank. Uh, I need this. I need my saw. I need two of these and like. wear everything for this really fast. What a look this is. Oh wait, hold on. I need to actually go in and do the thing. body I need a coif and I need leather gloves I know I have gloves do I have a coif if not where do I get a coif all right let's grab the gloves that's good iron plate body I can get from Horvick Ranger Guild Champions Guild okay perfect um, yeah, I'll just teleport there. Use the Varrock teleport and then run south. And I keep Lefay. So that is, that's where by Catherby. Scooby-Doo, get a clue. How many capes I got? I have, uh, 15. And yeah, th there there will be spoilers just inevitably with how far the account is right now. Because like I have my fire cape, or I have my fire making cape because you can see the 99 fire making right here. But I haven't gotten to that on the video series yet. And that's just, that's a part of how I'm staggering out the recording so that way doing a video a week is realistic. Not only realistic, but actually still entertaining. Because I will admit sometimes those, uh... I will admit sometimes just looking at a grind for like three hours. That's not a, that's not a good video. But having like several grinds go on in the course of a video is better. I, I'm kind of... A, a lot of my goal for how this series should feel. Uh, I've taken a lot of inspiration from the gridlock series i've also taken a lot of inspiration from 
uh, Tedious's task account. So, like, I, I want to try and make the episodes feel like that as much as I can. I have all the chromatic capes. I am missing all but one. Or I have all but one. The only one that I still need is the pink cape. And I need to do hand in the sand for that. Because I don't have access to pink dye. to Cape Lefay. Yeah, once I get back to the bank, I'll show you the cape tag. You look like a jack dude. <laughs> I am big, but uh but not by muscle. <laughs> but I appreciate it. I stand about six foot tall. <laughs> yep. You got it. Okay, let's just equip this all really fast so these bats don't keep hurting me. Okay, blow the raspberry. Blow the raspberry. What am I missing? Coif, coif, coif. I need 20 ranged! Okay, well, uh, we are just going to then... Ah, I don't want to drop the clue. What do I want to do about this? We at least have the stash unit created and stocked. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll keep the clue. We'll keep the clue in the bank, and then once we do Shadow of the Storm, we'll run and complete it really fast. I just have to remember it. Dang, forgot about that detail. Was controversy about clue? The issue is that I don't have 20 ranged. I only have one ranged. And I don't want to stop doing Death of the Dorgashin to do... Uh, I don't want to stop doing Death of the Dorgashin, so that way I can get the range level I need, I, I still want to finish it. Uh, because I am stubborn. That's really the only reason why we're still here. It's just because I'm stubborn. <laughs> I only need a hood. I only need the hood. That is the only piece of the ham set that I am missing right now, is the hood. I have literally everything else. Once I get the hood, we're able to complete Death of the Dorgashin, and I can start actually, like, going for the range levels that I need. Uh, so that's why we're not dropping the clue, but still sucks that I can't, I can't complete it right now. Keep grinding? Yep, that's the goal. I've grinded on this just because, like, it, all, all I need is one item. Like, it, it can't take that much longer. Major copium going on right now. <laughs> Major copium, but you know, <laughs> that's where we are. <laughs> oh, speaking of copium, I should probably configure 7 TV to have some good, or not 7 TV, but uh, better TTV and FFZ faces to get some more emotes for y'all in chat. Please. Uh, the first pickpocket I go for is a fail. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll try pickpocketing these members, even though there's literally no difference. Just, just to make me feel something. Copium or like capium? Yep. Come on. All I need is a hood. 
All I need is a hood, please. That's a cape. Here, I'm gonna get fully dressed up so that way they think I'm one of them and I'm just missing my hat. <sighs> I got excited because I saw pink, but it's the wrong the wrong item come on please finally finally time for a live stream welcome welcome hope you enjoy it I hope you enjoy your time I am uh, very sad that these hand members are being so mean to me right now that put me is that outside no it's not okay excellent you main rs3 and you enjoy watching osrs hey no flame no flame uh perceived on that one i guess uh i like rs3 too it's been a while since i played it but i do have an iron in rs3 doing well thank you <laughs> man getting pog caught pickpocketing why are you so mean to me yeah right just just stop paying attention to me and just let me let me steal your pockets play up the devisiveness for fun but you like rs in all forms i will admit there are some things like like there's a genuine reason why i don't play rs3 as my main um, but I do still appreciate it for what it is. I love the way that the lore has developed in RS3. I really like RuneScape lore. Just the hood. All I need is a hood. I'm going so dry for a hood right now. Come on, please. Where does that put me? Not outside, please. Ah, of course. Okay. Lorescape 3. That'd be a good one. What do you think of Runescape Classic? Uh, I appreciate it for where it brought us, but there is a reason why there are old school servers and RS3 servers, but not RS1 servers. Or Runescape Classic servers. <laughs> There's a... Uh, that game is uh, a little bit difficult to stomach. That is for sure. There used to be RuneScape Classic servers, but those those aren't a thing anymore. Yeah, the monetization is really what turns me off from RS3. If it, if it wasn't so predatory with a or predatory with the microtransactions, I'd be a lot cooler with it but just the fact that they are so aggressive and in your face about those microtransactions it really turns me off to the game okay i guess we're just stuck here ah it's the wrong piece i keep on pulling the wrong piece in the jail please thank you
I'm surprised this is taking so long. I've spent like an hour here just trying to get a full set of ham robes. And I'm almost done with the quest too. Uh, curse. Curse me and my impatience. I've gotten every single piece so far except for the cape twice. Or except for the hood twice. Just give me your hat. That's all I ask for. I want your hat. It's pretty egregious when they've been try uh and when I've been tired of that game recently, that's why. So you feel it? Yeah. That's partially why I started the iron, because the uh microtransactions aren't that prevalent or that uh aggressive on the iron. Just because what was an Iron Man going to buy uh, from microtransactions? We're not going to be buying materials. That kind of ruins the purpose of an Iron Man. If you can't do the run energy in OSRS, Classic is no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot in Classic you can't run. This is Death of Dorkashun. Yes. And I'm already almost done with the quest, but I got a little too impatient right after I finished the ham storeroom section, and I dropped my entire ham outfit, except for the cape. So I didn't realize that until after it had already despawned, that I still needed it for the last part of the quest. So I, uh, I did this to myself. Shades are nice, at least. Give me some necklace of passage. Come on, please. Please. I'm in so much pain right now. Please. <sighs> okay, at least it threw me back in the jail instead of outside. This would be a good time to do some editing. Go for it. I've almost gained two levels from doing this, and I'm almost level 40. Come on. I mean, if I get level 40 from this, I mean, cool, I guess. You're really far behind on your bots? Like, next up to do is September 29th? Oh, uh, yeah. Gotta get cracking. Accidental pickpocket grind? Oh, yeah. This isn't even good XP. It's literally like the only people, or the only reason why people use hand members regularly is because they have like one of the best easy clue drop rates. Other than that, there's literally no other reason to do that. Uh, not counting the quest that I'm required to do this for. Or the pride area in the video was very refreshing. Doesn't have to be a big deal. Just hey, nice instead of snide sarcasm. Yeah, I say gay rights. Very much an ally. I support all that stuff. Okay, not outside, we're good. You can say my girlfriend's a gayest woman. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that is a big reason why I, uh, I'm i very, very, very open and cool with all that stuff is because my girlfriend is bi. And so when you have someone who's very close to you and, is, and that stuff is very important to them, 
then it becomes important to you as well. So anytime I get a chance to support that, I, I try and go out of my way to do so. Especially because I'm not exactly the straightest person either. <laughs> I am straight, but I'm not... There, there, there are definitely some moments where I've looked at some people, like some actors or like some male actors. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I get it. I understand. <laughs> that is true. That is also very true. More weapon for me and butt stuff for me. Hey, that's a- oh, I got the hood! I didn't even see it! Oh my god, we're out of here! We're done! I can leave this place! Huzzah! Oh, I never want to come back here again. Okay, we're finally done. It's a spectrum for a reason? Agreed. Oh my god. Ah. Okay, time to finish this stupid quest. <laughs> uh, how much time do I have left on my birdhouse runs? I'm all I, that almost took like a good hour and a half just to get a full set of ham robes. Golly. Okay. Well, we're 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 done with this. So I I'm just gonna chuck this away. And we're done. <laughs> okay. Uh, put this here, this here. Jades. Do they already have a spot? Oh, great. They do. Uh, dig site pendant. I don't need. This I won't need. This I will put here. And now I need this, this, and this. All right. Cool. And then I need, like, I don't know, just bring a full inventory of this why not i don't want to take any chances with this boss fight because i don't have protection prayers all right let's go thank you for your patience zanuck we are now we are now ready to actually fight i want to kill something after all that oh my god i want to go fight something so bad <laughs> i reverse my apartment spot <laughs> Search a crate south of the farm, east of Lumbridge. Okay, so that's up here. Okay. Do I need a light source? I do not. Okay, perfect. Because I just realized I forgot my skill cape, but I don't think it is going to matter. Worst case scenario, I do have my emergency teleport. Oh, I need both hands free? Okay. Okay, there we go. So you're Jewish by blood only? I I know very, very little about about that culture and everything. I just just never have taken time to learn, which is honestly my own bad. Alright, let's go ahead and get geared up. Hello! Where can I go to safe spot? Yeah, we'll go right here and just kill this guard and then I should be able to safe spot the others.
It's just lack of exposure. I never grew up with anybody uh, who was Jewish or who was from a Jewish background, so I just, I just never took the time to learn outside of like what they taught you in school. So, and that's my bad. But at the same time, I also haven't really had that big of a reason to learn. So, I guess that's also something that hasn't really brought that to the forefront of my mind. Slowly learning via osmosis because your grandpa's girlfriend is Jewish. Okay. Trey, lack of exposure. Oh, God. <laughs> you and me both. I also love how Sigmund is praying melee when, uh... I am using magic this whole time. Okay, now he's using Prey Mage, and now he's using Prey Range. Goodbye, Sigmund. Have fun getting Bolt Ragged to death. You went burnt straight back to white in like a week, so people stopped believing you went. That's funny. I uh I noticed when I was doing a lot of like marching band and drum corps stuff, the way that I tanned is that I would burn and then it would it and then it would turn into a tan. Uh so <laughs> I would I would go out there, I'd be bright red, and then the next day I it would not be as red, but still look like I was sunburned pretty bad. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. You're good. No, I'm, I'm Scots Irish. I was, I was, I was raised Baptist. <laughs> I don't quite hold those views anymore, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just your run-of-the-mill white guy. <laughs> That's basically it. Tans are reactions to being sunburned. I did not know about that. That's cool. Okay, so I guess I learned that then by doing that. Hey, let's go. All right, now the quest should be done. Oh, we got ranged XP from that. How much? Oh, good. I got a torch. Nice. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go back to Lumby. And then we're going to chuck all the ham stuff in the quest tab until we can get the costume room. Thank you. Thank you. The only church you went to was a you. Unitarian Universalist one for like a few weeks when you were five. I am not familiar with that denomination, so I can't say much. <laughs> uh, these need to go in here. Alright, there we go. Got all that. Ring of Life, we're actually going to stick in here. Right here. Wear that. Let's grab this. Get this. Um, okay, so next up is Demon Slayer, which requires 25 bones, a bucket of water, armor, and food. Do I have to fight it with melee? I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, kill Delrith. Uh, kill Delrith using silver light. Once defeated, you'll need to say the magic words. Okay, so I think that means I have to kill him all the way with silver light. That should be fine. Yeah, with the stats that I have, that won't be an issue. The big thing is just 25 bones, so I should probably put some of these runes away. And put on a cape. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. 
Should I stick that stuff in my bag goes ham fisted? Oh, absolutely. 100%. Alright, we're gonna throw everything in the bank except for the mind runes and the air runes. And we'll see. Let's see if we actually get a, uh, a beginner clue with this here. That'd be nice. That'd add another beginner clue to the grind tonight. I've so far done three clues. Dang. Yeah, the stat total is starting to look real nice now. The account's getting flushed out. We're, we're very solid early game Iron Man. Feels nice. Feels good. How long until no longer early game? Um... There's a few gear things that I say are pretty much the thing I have to look for when we're talking early game. Um, the biggest one is the Slayer Helmet. Slayer Helmet is huge in terms of being able to actually like do Slayer grinds. So I think that's a big uh, gateway. I'd honestly consider Fire Cape as a... No, Fire Cape's a solid mid goal our mid-level goal it's not a gateway uh, fire cape i think getting 60 attack is a big one warrior's guild is a big one to get dragon defender um so that's like 60 attack 70 strength uh, it's hard to say early, early game into mid game really kind of just happens like suddenly you're just in the the uh, mid game it's hard it's hard to point out a very specific goal that says yes i am in mid game now 87 slayer till mid game no definitely not now i'd say 55 is mid game 87 i say is when you're starting to break out of mid game because at that point, that, that gives you trident, and that allows you to do late game grinds. But I, I think that the process to get trident is very much a mid game grind. Does it suddenly happen or subtly happen? Uh, subtly happen. Because you don't realize it until you're pretty much already there. Like, once you start being able to do Barrows runs, you're like, oh, I'm in mid-game now. <laughs> it is a very key unlock. Uh... Like, the Trident is absolutely huge. Like, Trident's, Trident's incredible. But I'd say Ivan's Blast is fine up until you get to that point. Ninety cooking, ninety fishing, ninety wood cutting, you're still early game? Well, if you haven't done any PVM goals, then yeah. I think a lot of skilling goals are very solidly, like they're doable at an early game, or they're doable at an early stage. So I, whenever I talk about like early mid late game, I always talk about combat stuff or like PVM stuff, because I feel like that's a bit of a better measure for how close someone is to mid game. Just open media and Da Vinci and says Siege Rides 98 full. That's not good. Hey, we've got a beginner clue, so we'll do that before we end off stream, or before we do the quest, honestly. I think I'm gonna keep going. I don't want to... I don't want to stop streaming. I'm having a lot of fun. 
We're gonna keep going until I at least do Demon Slayer. Mines are so useless in RS3. I forgot you need miners to cast low level spells in OSRS. Yeah, that that's I think probably one of the most jarring changes between OSRS and RS3 is that you can have a staff of air and you're just you can cast spells infinitely. <laughs> it's a little broken, a little busted. All right, so that's the Verrock mine. We'll go do that right away. Uh, we'll dump these here. Let's go ahead and get my runes back. We need water, earth, law, and that was it. Let's get this. Let's also grab this. I need gear. Just in case I have to kill something. Boots of Lightness. Okay. To Varrock. The few scalable staff also provide infinite air routes, so people just went straight from account creation to level 20 for the staff to do lead dungeons 3 and 200 mil magic god that's that is efficiency that is extreme efficiency i mean i'm not gonna lie the first thing i did on my rs3 iron is that i just got super high rune crafting like immediately I think I got up to like 50 rune crafting before I left rune span. <laughs> 120 within maybe not 24 hours, but damn near. Jesus. Is that with the uh, fresh start worlds or is that just people joining the game? I guess not really in uh, fresh start worlds. It'd be pretty hard to do that stuff in fresh start worlds unless people are already established. Oh, so RS mains have a bit more patience with early grinds. Yeah, there are a few. Like Graceful is a big one. Uh, that that one you can't buy. That's like the biggest early game grind that I feel like is painful for a main. Who main OSRS, not a main on OSRS. Oh, gotcha. I mean, even still, there's there the graceful grind is. I'm not sure if there's anything like that in OSR or in RS3 on an early game thing or an early game account. Uh, talk to Shanty. There we go. Casket. Hey, let's go. Casket. All right. Jester Cape Shoulder Parrot. Here we go. Cape 21. Five Chaos Runes. Right. Well, we are um, not doing that. Uh, okay. What is? What do I need? Okay, I need a coin, a bucket of water, and 25 bones. I have the bones, so let's grab a coin. Grab a bucket. All right. I think I also need like some trout too. Let's get like five salmon and a knife because I'm pretty sure there's a cobweb that I'm going to need to cut through here pretty soon. Oh wait, I need to talk to Gypsy Eris. Okay.
RS3 items have a hard, harder time grinding out the early OSRS grinds than vice versa. Uh, yeah, I, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Do I have to write this down? Or is it the same every time? I want to say it's the same every time. Carlum, Aber, Camerinthum, Perchlike, and Bindo. Yeah, it's the same every time. Not just constantly compare. You imagine that gets a bit tiresome? No, you're fine. You are all good. Still on stream beats, good. Our Wally <laughs> from Hoenn and his Ralts. I don't know, we'll see, man. I think I think I feel like a sword wins against that little nerd. <laughs> Wally absolutely is the is the epitome of just some nerd. He's great. I love Wally. Alright, got the key. Now we use the bucket of water on this. Okay. Uh, kitchen. Let's do this. Just realized for this next video, you're going to need to actually record some audio to explain what the hell is going on on the 27th. Yeah, just I, I do that every now and then. That's how I do my intros. Just a real quick uh, blurb saying like, "Hey, this is what I did," or "This is what's going on," or "This is the goal of the video." His friend is telekinesis, which is cool. It is cool. He got bronchitis. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the, uh, okay. That's the dungeon. Okay, I did not need the knife. It just washes up over here. Okay, that's good. Twenty seven is the day since Second Street because uh Luna had like fifty viewers from the raid chain. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Okay, um, where am I going? We need to go to Wizard's Tower. I don't need to bring them all at once. Ha, you can't tell me what to do. step is to kill Delrith, so I actually am just gonna bring... Okay, let's do this, this, let's drop all of this in here. Uh, in the quest tab, we'll at least drop these keys in here. I only want to bring... Let's bring the hardcore armor with the gnome amulet. Let's also bring this. We need the fire making cape as well. We're going our full melee combat set. And then uh, we need all of these and a Verok teleport. All right, we should be ready. 
This last part of the quest will be fast. Have I done Dimension of Disaster? I don't believe so. That quest does not sound familiar to me. I'm I'm still very early game on the RS3 Iron. I uh I'm still doing like the the Meyer Key quest line, so I'm I'm still very, very early on. I think the only RS3 like late game RS3 quest or not late game, but like later RS3 quest that I've done is the one where Sliski's like, hey, hey gods, you wanna do a battle royale? And so uh that that's I think that's the only like super wild quest that I've done. Which that was that was fun. That was a cool quest. Let me know if you can help. Absolutely. Alternate alternate reality? Oh, I heard of that. I did hear of that. I haven't done them, but I did hear about the alternate reality Barok. That sounds fun. That sounds really fun, honestly. I kind of hope that Sliski shows up in OS. Like, it'd be a little weird if Wild Gothic Sleeps happened, because then this would no longer be uh, Fifth Age, but you know what? Whatever. We got the rule of cool going. Not everything needs to be completely lore accurate. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No talk. Demon Slayer? Have him. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, now all I need to do is gear up and go fight a demon. Oh, it's only level 27? Oh, yeah. This will be easy. Incantation is currently unknown. That's not true. I know exactly what it is. Okay, and then we'll just fill the rest with salmon. Actually, I'm curious. Is the steel plate body a... Does that give better bonuses? Oh my god, it does. It's gonna look a little scuffed. Yeah, just a little scuffed. Should I get an emergency teleport? I feel like I won't need it. All right, awesome. Silver light obtained. It's only level 27, Demon. I, with the amount of food that I have, I should not need an emergency teleport. I am fine. Rip your Uber Eats, then deliver your food. Oh no, that sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that. Those are some famous last words. Listen, I got this. I got this. All I have to do is stab it harder than it stabs me. It's genius, really. Yeah, I really hope you can get a refund, because if you never got the food, that, that really sucks.
Why kill it when you can both die? You know what? That's a good point. All right. Head into the instance. And... Time to fight a demon. Let me fight the demon. There we go. He only has seven health? I just one shot it. Well then, that was very anticlimactic. Cool. Silverlight's mine now. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> oh boy. Now you visualize a very different edit for this part. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I feel when I get there. I'll definitely do something funny there. I just don't know what yet. Maybe like the squeaky toy noise whenever I one-shot it. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll dump this into quest items for now, because that is what it is for the moment, is a quest item. Um, The Golem. Soft clay, vile pestle, mortar, and papyrus. So I need soft clay. I want to say that there's a clay rock over here. Vial should be easy to get. I actually think I even have a vial of water that I can just pour out. And then. Yeah. Okay, yeah, everything's good. Oh, I just realized it's time for a birdhouse run. So I will I will do that after I get the clay. Pretty sure it's over here. You'll DM my idea? Oh yeah, for sure. Can I just use this directly on the water source to make wet clay, or do I actually have to, like, wet it and everything? I hope I can just dump it. Or not dump it, but just use it on the fountain. Think you can use? Alright. We'll test it. I will say I am starting to feel kind of tired, though, so I think once I complete the golem, I'll be done. Because Shadow of the Storm is a bit of a longer quest. Nope, you have to fill buckets. Uh, just more steps. Okay. Good. It's not like you're intentionally misleading me. 
it, it logically makes sense for that to happen, but I guess they either didn't think of it or they did think of it and just didn't do it. So no biggie. Needs to be in this tab. Okay. Uh, we can get rid of clockworks. This actually should be up, like right. Put it up before the fishing supply. Uh, let's put it like right here. Okay. Uh, soft clay, vile papyrus. I do have. Uh, where's the great papyrus? There it is. Uh, and now I need a vial. As well as Varrock teleports and Digside teleports. So we need staff. We need this. We also are going to need. Uh, let's do just the full set of elemental runes. I don't think I'll need any combat for this. Uh, ooh, before I forget, actually, I need to do a real quick birdhouse rock. of our S3 brain. I mean, it makes sense. Okay. Let's go. Got the hunter level. We love to see it. That's actually good. That's a dueling ring. I don't think I even have any of those yet. That's actually really nice for us. We're all set. Oh, I need vials. Um, port serum is the best place to get them right now, so we'll just run and grab them super fast. What's the Bofa again? It is the uh, Bo Ferdenheim. The item that doesn't exist. At least not for my iron, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, they don't sell vials. Okay, guess we're going to Tavalry then. Both of these goblin. Got him.
goblin these both for I would love for it to be canon or not canon. I would love for it to be an intended uh, thing for the developers to call the bow for that just to make a D's nuts joke. I wouldn't put it past them. While the weapons of this game some boring looking sword. Yeah, tell me about it. Weapon design in RS3 is nuts. Old school, eh, it's okay. It's just not the greatest. Ah, you're good, Endor, but I understood what you were going for. Still funny. The joke still landed. Okay, now to Alcarid. Prince Ali's cape. I don't think that's a viable cape. Oh, I can't card out to, uh, Oozer yet. I have to walk there. Oh, there's a camel attacking me. Do I have an emergency teleport on me? I do not. Unless we count this. I'm not wearing a cape! Ah! I'm too far away from a bank to change that. Some NPCs have cool looking armors and weapons. Oh yeah, 100%. I think old school doesn't miss with armor design. I think it can miss though with weapon design sometimes. Like the the Ozma Tutan Fang, I think it really doesn't look that interesting compared to like the Blade of Saildor or something like that. Is that the edge of the map? Uh, no, it is not. Okay, we're over here.
six I Okay. The serious is serious to say the map actually has no edges and it's spherical. We call this people globe heads. I know it's crazy, right? Imagine a world that's not flat. Couldn't be me. What's up, textbook? Welcome back. Hope you're having a good time. steal from this guy oh I have to talk to him first and then I can steal from him percent the only time I need this key so I gotta drop it immediately after I get this Almost there, almost to the end of the quest. Yeah, I definitely am not having enough energy to do Shadow of the Storm. Should I bring with me? Yeah, we'll do the this cape. This is a cool cape. Contrasts well with the white robes. Uh, 
Oh, can't can't fast travel yet. Do I need gloves to steal for the phoenix? I shouldn't, right? I can just pluck the feather? I'm gonna try real quick. So that'll be important for my research. My research. actually has a chance to drop a beginner clue. If I need gloves to grab items, uh, Phoenix certainly seems one of them. Uh, well, the guide that I'm using doesn't say anything about it, so I assume that it's safe. Otherwise, I'd point it out. Alright, grab feather for the Phoenix. Please let me do it. Please let me do it. Come on. Hey, let's go. Youch, that was a lot of damage from not having a water skin. Let's finish this quest fast. Ah, uh, eclectic impling. I had to get hunter levels for implings. What level are eclectics? Implings. 22 are young implings. Eclectics are level 50. Jeez. Okay. Any clue luck tonight? Uh, yeah, I got a couple of things. I got a steel plate body trimmed, and I think I think that's it from an easy clue while I was doing ham members. steal gems from this throne because I have a chisel and I came prepared. Oh, is this on the same plane as uh, ring crafting altars? Okay, that's funny. Hey, <laughs> right. guess whatever works, right? Yeah, this is all the same plane of existence as all the rune crafting altars. That's funny. that we are all done for the day so that is going to be it for tonight i uh, weren't able to get ranged up but i at least got my range somewhat up here level 13 range isn't bad uh we'll be getting more range levels on friday i'm going to be taking uh tomorrow and thursday off for editing and also because wednesday's the day i spend with my wonderful amazing girlfriend so uh next time i'll be streaming will be on friday uh there should still be an episode of the cape freak coming out on saturday and uh i do want to thank you all so much for coming by and watching i really really appreciate it yeah quest helper so be right. you have a great night